What is going on guys? I hope you can hear me okay. Um, I'm just using the audio directly from the GoPro itself because I keep on having issues with the uh, with the GoPro audio. Um, if if you guys are familiar with Moto Vlogs or how how things kind of work, um, if you have like anything below like a, a Hero 8 or 9 or whatever it is, you need like a special adapter to uh, to work in. So um, it's kind of this is going to help solve some of the problems, but not all the problems. The big thing I need to do is just get an upgrade on the camera, which um, I'm hoping to use this monetization money to do that. But right now we are going to do an unboxing and uh, things that I got that I'm hoping will help the channel starting with this because this will help me um, not have to uh, hold this camera like this anymore. Um, hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, what is it? It is a tripod for the GoPro. Yes, I am very excited about this. Um, I'm pretty sure it will work with the GoPro. It's supposed to work with the GoPro. So let me see if I can get this set up real quick and then I can talk a little bit more freely. I might as well just kind of share the whole thing in its entirety or it's not really an unboxing. Uh, just makes things difficult with the one hand. Uh, can we do it? So it's pretty nice. It actually even has a little uh, level on it. So um, let me see if I can. Okay, yeah, that's a good. That's a good height. Um, how can I do this? I guess I could put it on the TV. I don't really want to be on camera right now because I just woke up. No, I don't want to do that. Um, let's see. This goes up like this. Fifty inch, it's supposed to be a uh, fifty inch. I'm sure this will go. Yes, this gets down more. I think maybe not. Maybe that's maybe that's it. I don't want to break it. But let me see if I can get this hooked up real quick. All right, that actually makes things a lot easier. Um, really happy with the tripod. Actually, it um it is fifty inch. Uh, it's got a nice lever level on it. It's it's got a swing arm to adjust things. I mean, it's I was worried about the 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 lowest height setting. Um, so we'll kind of get into why I got this stuff um, here in a second. But let's let's open something else real quick because everything's going to make a little bit more sense. And uh, it is going to be this is the big one because these are accessories to this. And I've read a bunch of reviews on it, and uh, I'm hoping that it is exactly what I need. I don't get my ugly foot out of the way, uh, but I got a Zoom H1 uh, recorder. It's blue. Uh, I thought I ordered. I wanted white. They had it in white, and it looked really nice. Um, so there's several reasons why I got this um, device. 
the the first thing is I really got to figure out a different way to do audio with my videos because and I'll tell you guys um, people that follow the channel hard uh, the demo day was a success and a unsuccess or not success um, at the same time because I rode eight different bikes and only two of them I got actual audio for for whatever reason that again with the um, with the GoPro here I'll show you with the GoPros if you have uh, uh, like a eight nine and below you need this special adapter uh, to to get the audio in from the uh, the blue panda or purple panda microphone into this and this is the part that connects into the the GoPro itself um, I have went through five of these and these are like forty or fifty dollars a pop like they're not cheap but they seem like they're cheaply made and yeah it cost me all the audio for my um for my demo rides which i'm super super upset about because i mean it an authentic first ride is an authentic first ride so i got a couple plans to figure it out but um this isn't going to necessarily fix that problem what i'm doing is uh, Mosides where I demoed the bikes there giving me a really cool opportunity to go there and to film bikes and to do uh, in-depth review kind of like other videos that you see on YouTube where you know they people are able to go into these dealerships and do a complete walk around of the motorcycle talk about all the specifications and all this stuff and I want to do that when I do my um, when I do my uh, uh, first ride videos kind of incorporate it like that i don't necessarily want to i want to open this yeah if it's easy to open yeah um so that's why i got this and the other reason why i got this is to record in the uh in the bike so i can put this under the seat or somewhere on the bike and pick up audio and then at least it would make it better for me to do voiceovers because like a blank voiceover with like no engine sound just sounds empty and weird um and i don't really want to do that so this is a little recording device that i got um, i specifically got this one because it has a gain adjuster and um that's super important um from all the research that i was doing with uh with how to actually get good motorcycle sounds so um i don't it's not on right now it probably doesn't have any batteries no oh are you serious i got double a's it takes triple a's but this is the recorder i'm hoping to get some really good audio sound of the bikes that i'll be demoing as well as my bike for other content ideas that i have and for the first ride or not the first ride videos just the videos that are about um, that are about the bike itself when I'm walking around, so I can hook a I can hook my purple panda mic up to this without the stupid um, adapter thing here, so there there won't be an issue. Or I could just like you know, hey, how you doing? Like I could I could use it like that. So we'll see what happens. Um, I've seen a lot of good reviews about it it was within my budget i think this was like 110 120 somewhere in there um, these things can get absolutely expensive um upwards to like 600 dollars and i wasn't doing that just because i don't need to do that um sure the audio is probably better but it also is for more serious complicated ideas which i'm honestly not doing so it would be definitely overkill for me so um Let's see, we'll open this one. Oh, this knife is dull. A dull knife is a dangerous knife. Remember that, kids. So, it's a dead cat. Yes, that is actually what it's called. It is a dead cat. It's, uh, it's a microphone cover for the, uh, or a windsock, rather. <laughs> I just stabbed myself. 
for the uh, for the recorder. So that's nice. Nice little dead cat. I didn't make the name up. That's what they're called for whatever reason. Oh man, I really did stab myself. Ugh. Probably didn't even need the knife. Okay, two things we got here. Uh, they are both actual um, other dead cats. Uh, I just got them for different reasons. This is like another kind of how the other one was set up. Kind of one of those fuzzy situations. A little better. Uh, this one was like double what these two are. So I'm thinking it'll have better, um, better uh, performance or whatever. And then the last one is more or less a charger, which wasn't supposed to be. Where, where's my other one? The one was supposed to come with two. Did it, oh, okay. There it is. This was the, this is what I was thought was in the other bike. It's, it's more the uh, traditional, I could put this over and, and talk and, and do things like that. So they were just uh, dead cats, whatever. And then a power, power supply which I didn't need I didn't realize that it just took batteries and uh, yeah so this is useless to me so if you want this let me know it's a this is a 5 10 volt yeah yeah input 100 volt 240 volt I don't know if you need it let me know maybe I'll send it to you I don't know but that's all we got for today's episode it wasn't very exciting or anything like that I just wanted to um I just wanted to to share that with you because um yeah there's gonna be um oh yeah so we can talk a little bit about the the channel and how spiffy talk a little bit about the channel real quick and what's gonna happen so i'm thinking what i'm gonna be doing guys is i i want to upload twice a week right now um Maybe three times a week, and that's that's not to that's not to put out content. That's just because I have so much content right now. And if you think about it, we're about to get into June. So June, July, August, September, October. Now we're already starting to fall out of the season. Um, and since my videos are more gauged towards new riders in the aspect of learning things it's it doesn't make any sense for me to put out educational ideas or educational content whenever people aren't going to be riding their bikes i mean it it would be bad for the algorithm it would just be bad in general so and uh the point is i have a bunch of ideas for videos i posted it i'll take another snapshot and stick it up here of ideas and i want to i really want to crank these out um not just to crank them out but because i really think that they will be really beneficial i had one person a couple weeks ago it's probably been a month ago by now talking about body position that's a fantastic video and i really want to get that out but i don't want to put a video of a you know a demo ride or a walk around bike video and miss a week for somebody learning something. So I think I'm gonna do is, I think what I'm, uh, well, I think I'm going to do is upload twice a week, uh, one video being my regular educational content or whatever it is, and then the second video being that kind of walk around thing. Um, and, and, and that's for several reasons. The other reason too is if you subscribe to the channel, there's a good possibility you don't really care about walk arounds of other motorcycles. Like you specifically want to see the Ninja 650. So why do you care about a Triumph Bobber? Like, so that's kind of why I want to do two videos a week now to, to give uh, my original viewers the content that they want and that they subscribed for and to put out those first ride videos uh, because the first ride videos are good videos as far as viewership goes and it's not about the views but one I want to build connections I want to build connections with this dealership two 
I want to get paid to have my hobby pay for itself. I, I want to get paid to have a hobby is what I'm saying. And this is the best strategic route that I figured out how to do it. So I figure first ride videos and walk around videos are going to uh, do very well or perform very well. At least I'm hoping so then that will allow me to make a little bit more money so I can get that new GoPro because that that whole uh, adapter thing with the GoPro completely screwed everything up. Like that really screwed everything up for me. And I'm really, really ticked off about it. But there's honestly nothing I can do about it. It kind of just is what it is. I just have to make the best out of a bad situation and figure out what I can do with it. And I have ideas, but uh, that's just so that's just so freaking annoying. So that's kind of why I want to do a lot of those other videos too for you know uh for a, a a nice kickback so i can get more equipment and to to really build strong relationships with this uh this dealership because that is super important and i'm hoping later on down the road here shortly i'm hoping this summer um i would actually be able to do rides on bikes so that i could stick this somewhere get really good audio do the gopro overlay it then i could have a video of just that bike with the audio sound then i can have the video of the bike with audio and me talking and it just opens up a lot more possibilities um which is the whole point but i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna get this place cleaned up this is a mess and uh i'm gonna go visit a friend so oh hey look nice it did come with batteries that is nifty but i'm gonna get out get out of here and go thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you think about um these ideas i have for the for the channel i want your feedback as well um let me know what you think about the posting twice twice a week or three times a week and and it's not about getting burnt out so i don't think that i would necessarily get burnt out um because the i'm not recording them all at the same time a lot of these videos are already recorded i'm just waiting to put them out and i mean as of right now if i upload once a week not including first ride and demo day videos i have videos all the way up until september uh so you include the demo rides with that if i do once a week that puts me into like february march of next year so I think uh, doubling down right now wouldn't be too bad of an idea because all it is is uploading. Everything is pretty much uh, edited and filmed, excluding the uh, excluding the uh, the first ride or the walk around videos, not the first ride videos. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave your comments. Let me know what you think about these ideas, and I will see you in the next one.